What is up you guys? I'm just having my morning coffee and then I realized I didn't actually make the intro for this video So I figured I'd just pop on here let you guys know what's happening in today's video I'm just showing you guys a few things that I got off Amazon for organizing um, I'm showing you guys how I organize and set up the place still very unorganized This is actually way after the video and I started doing my room setup So I have my room headboard here because I kind of set up my bed now and I'm like working on my bedroom now um, Which will be in a separate video. It's coming along. I do have like a a lot to do here and it's just kind of like all over the place right now if you guys are noticing there's some clips from one day to the next day to the next day it's because I work on it like each day at a time I cannot do it all in one day especially because I work yeah it's kind of been like a work in progress and things have been out of stock at Ikea and like going back and forth with all that has been like crazy but real quickly here I do want to thank today's sponsor and you guys probably already know but today's video is sponsored by a built bar so you guys have probably seen in my last few videos today I'm going to have the built bar puffs which have a marshmallow in them so if you guys are fans of marshmallow definitely check those ones out they have a variety of different flavors I personally am a huge fan of their built bar originals which are super chewy and chocolatey. I personally like them at night for a little dessert, a little snack um, throughout the day when I'm on the go um, or just even before like I'm making dinner and something I need something quick. It's just like one of the go-to's but maybe I'll show you guys a flavor list of what they have and there's also an option for you guys to pick a box where it's like a mix box where you guys can have different flavors and then choose your favorite flavor from there. They are protein bars with high protein and low calorie. Pretty low sugar I would say and they have gluten-free options. They use 100% real chocolate and no preservatives so definitely check them out i'll have everything linked down below and you guys already know i have a discount code which is keisha lay 10 i'll have it right here for you guys but anyways let's get into today's video So I'm just trying to map out how big my couch is gonna be because I already know the couch that I wanna get. So it's gonna come out to, you know, that area there. So I'm not like 100% sure if this is too far out because then it only leaves like a little bit of space here. But I kind of knew I wasn't gonna have any room for a side table or sorry, for a coffee table. So I got this little table from Walmart, which you guys have probably seen in my last video, but it's so cute. I think it's like perfect. So I can keep it, you know, in the corner there. I can keep it in the middle. It just really depends. You can just move it around as like a little coffee table kind of thing. That mirror, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep that. And this mirror, I think I'm gonna move it to this side here, um, but we'll have to figure that out once I get the couch. get this it's called the good morgan and i think i'm gonna put this on top of the toilet it'll be like perfect it'll save me so much space there it's back in stock on the 31st and the 7th so i can't get that what about the dresser okay um i couldn't even get the dresser because i know that was out of stock too I still have to organize my makeup up here and then I have my makeup drawer to go through. I do have to get rid of makeup and stuff. You guys probably kind of saw I put like a pantry on this side, but I got the same exact rack that's on that side and I put it over here because it fits literally perfect. So I'm gonna try to kind of organize it more, just ignore what's on there right now. I haven't really went through it. I'm just gonna show you guys the bins that I got. So I figured these ones would probably look good up there. So I got those ones for up there. I got more of these ones. These ones actually were up there, but then and I move them to the other rack, which I'll show you guys in a second. But I got smaller ones, which I think are perfect for the bathroom. I kind of did some measuring and I got those for here. 
So I'll put those there. I'm gonna see if those work. I also got these three here. Supposed to be able to fit in that drawer there. Hopefully with my measuring it was good. I really don't wanna mix my bathroom stuff with my food. So I figured I'd just get these containers and make it look at least more neat. So that's what that's looking like right now. And then my dad's supposed to come over and build this desk for me and this bathroom vanity, which you guys will see when it's done. I also stopped at the dollar store and got all these like pasta jars here. You guys literally, I spent all day at the dollar store today. And then I got these racks here that I'm not sure, I'm still kind of like working around with this, but I got the spice rack here that I was using with the blessed stuff. But then I got these little trays. This one's a super long one, which looks exactly like that one. I was just kind of seeing what I'm gonna do here. I still have to kind of figure it all out. And then I think last thing I got, just got this like, um, spice rack that looks like that here i'm um, just from the dollar store honestly it's the only one that kind of fits in my narrow cupboard so for now i think that's good i do want to get a bunch of spice jars that match because i'm so sick of like looking at all these spices and them just like not matching i need to get like a pack of 24 of the spices and then i can like transfer them and maybe get like a label printer or something because i want to make it like nice and organized but that's what i have going on you guys there's just like a ton going on here those were like my products from up there and those baskets i just had to do a lot of moving around honestly you guys this camera is going to die i don't have another battery so i'm just gonna show you guys as much as i can show you guys but if i don't get it all i'm so sorry here i believe this one and the big one down here are from amazon this one is from la forest i'm gonna show you guys that in a second it's later in the day now my dad just left i feel like my room's been like so hard to like come together because i don't have like my furniture right now all of it's not in stock at ikea so it's just kind of difficult when i don't have everything so these ones here are my spice jars i got a bunch of them from amazon they look like Perfect. For 24, I believe I spent 34 dollars, 34 something um, Canadian, which is pretty good because if you go to like the dollar store, I think they're like a dollar 50, and then they never have 24, or they just like always have them like mix and match and all that stuff. So I wanted specific ones, and these were just exactly what I wanted. And they have like the, you know, the spice holes there. So they come with all these labels. To be honest, I might need to make my own because I don't think this would have everything. It comes with like one of these things to put all your spices in. So this is also from Amazon and I got a bunch of fridge organizers because I really wanna make my fridge nice and cute and organized. And then these ones are also for the fridge, but they didn't come in this pack. And I wanted to have something where I can store my Oxy Shred drinks. So it came in a two pack. It looks 
so good. It's literally perfect. It fits one can perfectly here and then all of them all stacked here. You know, you don't lose any space for the cans. This is literally what I needed for my Oxy Shred. So very happy about this purchase. I'll make sure to have everything linked down below. And then this package here is, it's from the brand Kitchly. I just wanted to show you guys what it all looks like. So it comes with the egg organizer. Oh my God, I just wanna go shopping now because I can actually fill this with eggs. I think I only have like a few left. I already have like an egg holder that the fridge came with, but it only held six. So I might actually put that one away and then just keep this one. Yeah, and that way I can use that space up there and then put this to the side in like a drawer or something. This is a six piece set. So it comes with a egg holding tray, which is this one here. So you get five of these trays. They're all the same size. For some reason, I thought they were, like some of them were smaller. <laughs> no, they were all the same size. I don't know what I was thinking. I think it's definitely gonna help my fridge game because I don't really want it to look disorganized in there because it's such a small fridge. I still want it to be like categorized, if that makes sense. I might not be able to use all of them because I feel like my fridge is pretty small. Also, this is what that can container looks like. I'm probably gonna keep one out as well, but let me quickly take out everything from my fridge and give it a wipe and then I will organize it as well. Okay, so I got a little carried away. So I kind of like moved some things around in my fridge and these are a little bit big, but I kind of made it work. I had to literally take out this wine rack and then I also had to take out one of the shelves. Hopefully it still, you know, hopefully it works fully. I actually have to go grocery shopping to see if it even works with what I got going on. But let me just show you guys what I have here. Okay, this is the fridge before. I'm thinking to put all my sauces up there and then my eggs, of course. I'm thinking to keep my berries up here. My Oxy Shred, which takes up half of the space there, which I have juice there, but I don't normally buy juice. I actually had those from my old place. My cousin got those. So I just have those. And then once they're done, I don't know if I'm gonna repurchase more juice or whatever, but um, I just have a bottle of water there. And then I was thinking to store like my on the go like food. I just, right now I just have rice prepped and then like some cut up onions. And then down here I was thinking to have like lunch meat, cheese and all that stuff. And then on this side, like my vegetables, but I don't really know how that's gonna work. I might have my like meats up here, like my turkey bacon and all that stuff here. And then some more like veggies. I'm just not sure how much room I will need for veggies. So this side's kind of blah, you know, I just have like my sauces there and then my milk, my Brita. So that's my fridge right now. Now I have to figure out some more storage to store this kind of item. And then I do have one leftover bin, which I might use for something else in the kitchen. And then just real quickly here, steering away from the kitchen organization stuff. I'm gonna open this package from, I think it's called Lofaris backdrop lafaris they are a company that sells backdrops for like baby showers weddings birthdays they sent me this balloon set to do the balloon arch which i'll show you guys a picture of i got two different color themes for that so i'll show you guys what the pictures look like so for this one i'll put that over here and then this one i'll put over here as well and then i got this backdrop custom made for baby catalina she'll be turning two in september 30th and i got like a bigger size i hope this is big enough so i got this one for my niece's second birthday and i think it's gonna be perfect so we'll probably put some like balloons on the side and then on the top and then on the side again um just to make it look really like nice and full and then that way we can like take a photo together i should have got maybe a little bit bigger i don't really remember the size that i got but i'm gonna have it on the screen here so you guys can see like the reference beside me i am 
5'3". This isn't fully to the bottom, but it's almost like my whole arm length. It'll be so cute for her birthday. I might actually have it like a little bit higher, some balloons on the bottom, but it's really cute. I'm obsessed. So this is the bathroom all organized. In here, I put those baskets. The first basket in the very back, I have all my bath stuff with like my body scrubs. And then here, I just have like my go-to products, my body lotion, coconut oil, my hair gel, my hairspray. And then the back basket of the bottom shelf, I actually have like my refill shampoos and like conditioners and stuff. And then in the front, I have my hair tools that I always use. Honestly, the bottom here, I don't really know what to do. Um, those baskets fit perfectly, but I just really don't know what I'm doing here. So I have like my hairbrush comb, my toothbrush for my baby hairs, and then I have like my face cloths here um, and then extra toilet paper. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys this part, but like I said, there was like so much room in the back there. So I store extra toilet paper, tampons, some product bags, and then some makeup wipes. So I put that back there. And then in this drawer, I really didn't know what to do because it's such an awkward space. So I just have like some random stuff here and then here I have my everyday skincare products with my toothbrush um, I always keep my toothbrush like far away from the toilet and then in here I don't know if I showed you guys this but Chelsea got this for me for my birthday last year and I didn't get to use it because I never had like a plug-in like right beside my sink So I think this is perfect. I'm so glad I get to use it now But this is like my serums eye creams and stuff like that then I have like this glass toilet paper holder that I'm actually using for toilet paper, but it's actually a vase. Um, and then here, I kind of just put a bunch of products in here. I'm still not sure if this is how I want to set it up, but I've got like my Foreo, my hair clips, my hair ties. These are all hair products. And then I've got like all my skin products up there and then my perfumes at the top. So that's kind of how I set that up. That's pretty much my bathroom. And then here I actually have my baskets of like products, my tanning products, some makeup stuff. I still wanna organize this top shelf because I don't know if I wanna put makeup there, but this is where I have my towels and stuff and then extra blankets, some sheets at the bottom. And then I have like my makeup stuff there. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this side here. Those baskets are actually from the front door. So I'm still trying to figure out if I wanna use them here but that's just in a little bit of a process. I'm probably gonna take out all that stuff that's in the boxes. I kinda just wanted to see if it would look good here. But yeah, you guys, so that is pretty much what we have going on. And then down here on my island, I put my pasta jars. So I filled it up to make it look like nice and neat. That's kind of what I got going on. And then I have like my extra Oxy Shred cans there. And then I kinda just put some appliances here but that's like the storage here. And then you guys, my fridge, I've been kind of like moving it around. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have to get smaller containers of these storage bins because they're too long for my fridge. I don't know, I'm not really 100% set on like my fridge storage, so I'm still trying to figure that all out. And then lastly, I got my dad to set up the charging port for my Tineco. So I have one just drilled to the wall here. And then I have my wet floor dry cleaner there as well. Um, and then the cords are just in the back and there's a plug-in right behind there and then I think I've decided to change up the bins here so these ones are from Ikea and they're just a bit taller so that I can fit more stuff in there I'll show you the ones that used to be there so I was gonna use those ones there but now I put them in the other closet like I showed you guys but that's kind of what I got going on here so I'm definitely gonna change those ones around so that I can fit more stuff in there especially because I need the space and then I just have extra food here but it looks way neater now that's pretty much it you guys that's all my updates for my place currently so yeah, I've just got like a lot of storage going on now.